This is going to be a quick tutorial on growing mesh curves. It's pretty easy. I've seen people do this with levers and such, making it very complicated and overcomplicated. It's actually pretty simple to do. Um, we're going to, this is 2.49B. Same concepts apply to the other ones, like 2.5 and higher. It's just your buttons are going to be located in different spots. Uh, most Second Life users, which is what I target most of the time use 2.49b so they can use the primstar 1.0 script so we're rolling with this I'm just gonna start off and delete this cube I'm gonna go up here and add a curve easier curve zoom in on it a bit go into edit mode don't expect me to do anything stellar with it right now because I'm just kinda doing this quick Now to add a, I guess a quick explanation should be in, in order here. These are your handlebars right here. This is your center point. You can move your curve like this. With your handlebars, you can manipulate your curve. And if you want to add a curve, go to the end point of your curve and hold down control and left click. And then use your handlebars to manipulate your curve. Like I said, I'm not going to do anything too stellar right now. I'm just not really in the mood. But I'm going to add another curve. This is just like a little curly. It's going to give us kind of like that Nightmare Before Christmas type curl thing going on. Now, I'm in edit mode. I'm going to use A to select all. That's the hotkey on your keyboard. You can go over here or whatever. I'm going to bring this up so I can see my options right here. I'm going to click the 3D and unclick front and back. Now I'm going to increase my bevel depth. Now if I look at it, it's a little blocky, so I'm going to up my bevel resolution, turn it up to about 3. Now we can actually cam around this, kind of look at it and see it's 3D. This is very useful for cords and such too. I actually just made a plug-in today with this, made a nice little plug-in cord. Now, what you're going to want to do from here, because this isn't actually mesh, is you're going to want to go into object mode and hold Alt and C on your keyboard, and you'll get this little box, convert curve to, convert it to mesh. Now, if you wanted to, if you export right now, the ends of these, down here and up here, are going to be open-ended. Um, if you wanted to make this thicker, or if you made this thicker in the first place to try and get that Nightmare Before Christmas type curl going on, um, you would have wanted to make a point at the ends, pretty much like a point right here. You can just go into sculpt mode for that. I'm just going to click X and Z symmetry, go to smooth, and just smooth it into a point. Basically, that's all you need to do. Right now, I can export this to Collada Mesh and import it into Second Life, import it into Unity, whatnot. Um, if you want to texture it, just remember to UV unwrap for that you're just going to go to edit mode select all your vertices I used hotkey A to do that and then mesh UV unwrap unwrap and hope this helps somebody out that's basically how you can grow curves um, if you did this in edit mode before you hit mesh you could actually go down to the side view and manipulate this on your Z angle up and down I just kind of left it like this and actually we got time so Let's just make a new one. I'll show you how to do that so you can get a more realistic cord. So we'll make a cord. 
add curve, Bezier curve. Go into edit mode. Now I'm going to control, left click, make another one. Control, left click, make another one. Now let's say this part right here, for example, is going to go into the back of an alarm clock or something. So down here you're going to want this to curve back and go into a wall. So we're going to add a curve, kind of loop it out a little bit, bring it down, straighten it out. Now, no cord that's going to be hanging off a table or anything is going to be just exactly straight like this. It's, that just doesn't look right. So I am going to select all my vertices first. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to pick 3D, uncheck back and front, increase my bevel depth, my resolution a little bit. And now I'm going to go to the side view. Actually, you don't even have to go side view. I'm just going to angle it. And I am going to pick one of these vertices, like we'll pick here. And you can drag up on your z-axis. And then we'll go down here. I'll bring it down on the z-axis. So now when you look at it from the side, you actually have something that looks like a more realistic cord. It's got more curves and bends in it. And then basically just to make this a mesh, because I would normally add like the appliance here, the plug-in here, and if you brought it at an angle like this, you kind of see what I'm talking about. This would be going into the wall, this would be going into the appliance. And to make it mesh, you're just going to go back to object mode and hold Alt and C, convert curve to mesh. Export as Collada and you're good to go. Hope this helps somebody out and have fun.